Hello everyone, my name is Dean and welcome back to, I guess, part two of the Ransack tutorial. This is going to be a quicker episode. Basically, we're just going to cover how to create some uh, associations that you can search through. Uh, so we're going to take the stuff we did in episode one with the articles where we had both of the search fields. I'll have a link to the GitHub repo down below in the video description so you can clone that if you want to. Uh, I'll also have a blog article with, uh, with all the code that we're covering today. But we're going to take that episode one stuff and we're just going to build on it. We're going to grab uh, the articles. We're going to say each article belongs to a category. Category has many articles. Uh, and then we're just going to add the ability to search those categories, basically. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But this can be a little bit confusing when you're first starting off with a ransack gem. So I thought I'd make a video on it. But that's going to do it for me. Let's go ahead and let's jump into some code. Okay, as you can see here, we have the same setup we have last time with our little uh, searchable article content. So I can search for like, I can search through the body and maybe search for Dean, or I can search for, I don't know, some random string, maybe the word for, what about lore? Lore seems to appear a lot. I also have said over here, or I could search for like Dolores, see what, what this comes up with. And you can see it filters based on that, and that's all off of some seeded data that we have. So that's nice, but what I would like to have is a set of categories for these articles. So maybe I want to search for manga or journal articles or something like that. So I can come in here and I can just search manga and get those results. Right now I can't do that, of course, because I don't have any categories. So instead it's just searching the title or the body. So how can we do this? Well, the first step is going to be creating the categories. So for that, we'll stop our Rails server, clear the console, uh, and then we just need to generate a scaffold. So for this, we'll just say Rails, let me actually zoom in a little bit. Rails G scaffold, we'll give ourselves a category scaffold and we'll just give it a name. And that's gonna default to type uh, string. So that'll work. And then what we can do is we can add this to our articles. So we'll say Rails G migration, add categories, to, I'm gonna actually full screen this because this is gonna get a little bigger. Add categories to articles, category colon references. And then we can run that. And that's going to add our one to many foreign key to our articles. Or I guess, yeah, our one to many because the article belongs to a category. So that's good. Now let me uh, go ahead and run a rails db colon migrate command to add this to the database. And of course it is unhappy with me. Okay, so what we probably have to do is do a rails db colon drop, and then we'll do a rails db colon migrate command. And that seems to have worked. So there's probably a foreign key violation. Yeah, because of the seeded data. So the next thing we'll wanna do is modify this seeded data a little bit. So let me come in here punch this up a bit. First thing I want to do is create a couple categories. So I'll say category.create. And I'm actually going to give these real names just so it's easier to remember what I'm searching for. So I'm going to say manga. Oops. And then I can copy and paste this a few times. I think five times should be good. Uh, and then I had this one named journal. This one was named tabloid. This one was fanfic. And the last one I had was movie review. So that gives us five categories to play around with. Of course, you can make more if you'd like to. Uh, and then inside of our article, all we have to do is put in a comma, hit enter, we'll say category ID. And for this, we'll say faker number dot between from one to the category dot count minus one. And I think that should work. I don't know what this is, if this is inclusive or exclusive. Let's maybe just try it without the minus one. If this doesn't work, then we might need the minus one, but we'll see. So let me say rails db colon seed. See if that's happy with us. It looks like it is. So let me go ahead and do a rails s now. I'll start the server. I'll refresh this. And then let's come over to localhost port 3000 slash categories. And that seems to have worked. We can of course make a new category if you would like to. So maybe we make another one, call it book reviews. Of course we have no 
articles under that category, but now we have it. So we can come back to here. So now that we're back on the home page, the next thing I would like to do is just real quick, let's make sure our models have the things they need. So let's come into our article.rb. It's missing our belongs to category. So let's say belongs to category. And then let's come to our category.rb. And this needs to has many articles. And that'll basically take care of uh, the back end portion of this. The next thing we can do is come into our articles controller. And from last time, if you'll remember, we have the at Q equals article dot ransack params Q stuff, uh, which is from the ransack gem, of course. So both of these are required and it basically just takes our parameters, runs ransack on the article, and then it grabs that query. And then it takes that query and says, give me the results of this query uh, with distinct set to true. And then that's how it gets all of its articles. Now, the one thing we do have to add in here is we have to add our category ID. So we'll just come down here and we'll say colon category ID, save that, and that will take care of our controller. So after the controller, the next thing we can do is we can come into our views, articles, and I guess we can come into the index page. Maybe we'll do this in a bit of a different order. So we have our title and our article content. Maybe before this, we want to have another TH. And maybe we want this TH to have another sort link. We'll say at Q. This time we'll give it a category name. And this is some magic that Ransack deals with. So uh, although our article, which we're ransacking in our controller, doesn't have a category name attached to it. It just has the category ID. This is smart enough to know that it's going to call, uh, let's say at article dot category dot name whenever it sees a uh, category underscore name. So that's why this works. It's just some under the hood magic, but that's basically what it's doing. And then after that, let's give it a default order again, and we'll just set this to ASC and that should handle our category name. So now let's come down here, let's do a TD. And for this, let's just say uh, article.category.name. So we're not smart enough to do this, but Ransack is. So down here we have to actually do it manually, but Ransack of course knows what it's doing, which allows it to do that magic. So now if I refresh here, we should have our article or our uh, categories for our articles, which you can see here. So we do have a movie review, we have a fanfic, a tabloid, a journal, a manga, and then we can sort these hopefully, and it looks like that's working. So here it's going in reverse alphabetical order, and the other way is in alphabetical order. But now what happens if I wanna search for a fanfic, I can't do that. So how do we search for fanfics? Because that's obviously why you're all here. Uh, to do a search like that, what we have to do is come into well, first let's come into our form for our articles because I want to do a drop down so when we add a new article we can we can uh, you know populate the category so for this I'll just give this a form dot label of category and then right below here I'll say form dot select and I want to select the category ID and then I'll just do a category dot all dot collect I don't know if this is the right way to do it. I'm sure someone in the comments knows a better way of doing this. Again, I'm not a full-time Rails developer. I am but a simple person who presses buttons in the right order sometimes. Uh, so we'll say category.name, and then we'll give it the category.id. I think that's basically all we need for that. Let me just scroll over on my notes. Looks like it is. We can save that, hopefully. We can click new article and I'll say, let's add a Naruto. We'll call it a manga and we'll say, I don't know, uh, ninjas and stuff. And then we'll hit create article. Article is created. So now our show page is missing something. So let's come into our show page and we'll just give this another P tag. Oops, P tag. And we'll just say strong category, strong. And this needs a at article dot category dot name, something like that. Refresh, there we go. We now have our manga. And then we can of course search for manga. 
Uh, actually, we can't because I haven't set up that form yet. But what we can search for is hopefully Naruto, and that'll work. Or we could search for ninjas, and hopefully that'll also work, which it looks like it is. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is actually come into our search form and make it so I can search for mangas. Uh, that way it stops seeming like I'm just making this stuff up. So the way you can search for it, very simple, just like last time. We have our title or body uh, cont, which just means title or body contains. Instead, what I want to do, I just want to say, or, oops, or the category name contains. And it's kind of really just that simple. So now if I refresh and I say, uh, I don't know, fanfic, is that what I called it? Looks like it is, because that seems to be working. Or I can search for manga. That also seems to be working. And then what was the other one? We had like movie review, I think, was one. Yeah. Now, one thing I want to point out here, and this is sort of a limitation of uh, Ransack. If I wanted to, let's say, if I search, there, bleh, if I search by the category name, and I come down here to manga, maybe I'll just search for Naruto. It'll be an easier example. So if I have Naruto, and I want to search for Naruto Ninja, because Naruto is a ninja, and I know it's going to be in the title or the article content, this isn't going to work. And the reason for that is you're going to need some very fancy uh, queries to sort of join some of these these tables together. Uh, there are some of those examples in the wild that'll probably be something I cover in part three. Uh, if I decide to go that route, I'll hopefully cover uh, the title and the body being combined. Now, as far as combining these two with the category, I still haven't been able to figure that out. So if someone is aware of how to do that, uh, preferably with like an RL SQL query thing or something. That'd be great because I'm not super familiar with uh, the, the Rails wrapper for SQL. I know the basic SQL, and I could probably write you the SQL statement we need for that, but I don't know how to do the, uh, it's like RL.SQL or like the RL nodes, uh, what is it, like interop the thing nodes where you can like do your or statements that way. I'm not totally familiar with those. So if you are trying to combine multiple fields, your best bet for now at least, and until I find something, is still going to be to just roll your own solution. Um, but at the very least, the title and the article you could probably combine fairly easily. Uh, but adding in a uh, association like this, just it wasn't working for me. But okay, I think that's gonna do it for uh, the coding portion of this video. Let's go ahead and let's cut to the outro. Okay, and that's gonna do it for this quick little Ransack video. Hopefully this was helpful. I know that a lot of the Ransack stuff can seem a little bit intimidating when you're first starting off, uh, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, the only thing I would say is that, you know, once you get to the more advanced functionality, that's probably where you'll want to roll your own search solution over using a gem like Ransack. And that's mostly just because some of the more uh, advanced SQL queries you're basically doing all the work yourself anyways. So at that point, you might as well just roll your own, save yourself some some overhead learning of another framework. Uh, but that's basically going to do it for this episode. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing and all that other YouTube jazz. If you didn't find this video helpful, then, you know, remember to downvote it if YouTube still lets you uh, so other people know not to watch this tutorial. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video and have a wonderful day.